You're now going to take a quiz as if you were the SPC demo student. So you have to make sure that you are already impersonating the SPC demo student. You'll notice right here that I'm already in that position of impersonating the SPC demo student because I see in red SPC demo student in the name here. You may want to review the tutorials on how to add and impersonate the SPC demo student before doing this activity. Click on the course content on the nav bar. You want to click on the module in which the quiz is located on the table of contents pane. In this case, it's this SPC demo student practice activities. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and I'm going to see the name of the quiz. Just click on the title of the name of the quiz to start the quiz. You'll be taken to a quiz summary page. Read the directions carefully. They will let you know the date range in which the quiz is available, how much time you have to complete the quiz, as well as how many attempts you are allowed on the quiz. Quiz instructions are also available. Quiz settings will vary depending on the quiz, so read all the instructions very carefully. Click on the Start Quiz button to begin the quiz. Then click OK. The quiz may take several seconds to load. If the quiz is timed, the timer will not begin until the quiz is completely loaded. Once the quiz, once the page loads, it will be broken up into several sections. You'll see right here, this section is called Time Limited, Total Time Allotted for the Quiz. Time left is the total time that you have left for the quiz in minutes. Attempt, right here, is the current attempt number. Questions, this area highlights as you answer and save each question. If the, qu if the quiz is broken up into multiple pages, it will be demonstrated here. Save, as you answer each question, is recommended that you save your answer. A save button is located under each question. Saved questions will appear highlighted in the questions area. Next page, some quizzes may be split questions up into several pages. Use the next button to move to the next page. Click the next page will automatically save all questions on the current page. Go to submit the quiz is once you completed the quiz, submit the quiz. So now I'm going to go ahead and answer each of the questions. Seven days in a week, I think that's true. I'll click save and you'll notice that this icon becomes filled in, meaning the question has been saved. Now, if I don't save these and I click Next Page, watch what happens to Question 2. It then automatically goes ahead and gets saved. This is why having questions on certain pages is real important. I'll click Save on that one, and I'll choose that one. Now, there is no previous I mean, Next Page because I'm done. Now I can go to the Submit the Quiz. Then I click Submit Quiz, and I click Yes. This will take you to the quiz submission page. The page will vary based on the settings your instructor has chosen.